So if you'll open your textbooks to page 23, uh, we'll take a look at how Euclid defined a few of these terms. Bob, can you read the first definition for me, please? Uh, yes, sir, I can. Um, a point is that which has no part. I wouldn't Sam Hill, does that mean? That's a very good question, Bob. Does anyone have the answer? Why, you're the teacher, aren't you? What do you think, Bob Jubinko? Okay, Theodore? Well, on the on the other side of the pond, it could, it could mean, well, we'll see. Well, you see, my father, uh, oh, well, I don't know. That's okay, Theodore. What it means is, a point is an indivisible location. That is, it cannot be divided into smaller parts because it is infinitely small. It has no width, length, or breadth, but it denotes an exact position in space. Does everyone get it? Alright, so far so good. Bob, can you read the next definition for me, please? But, Professor, if, like, it's infinitely small, doesn't that mean, like, it doesn't exist? Dude, he's the right man! Yeah, if it doesn't take up any space, how can it be real? Well, you're right, it doesn't exist as we understand things. Then what's the point of these stupid lessons? It's a good yeah, man. conspiracy, guys. Class, class, calm down. There are other things that don't exist, too. A point is just one of them. Like, what else doesn't exist, Professor? Oh, why, lots of things. Perfect circles, three-sided squares, and two nested pairs with just one number. Isaac Newton's fourth law of motion, rivers and oceans on the moon. Easter Sunday in the fall, and Pope John Paul the sixth or seventh. Also the last digit of pi, or large dragonflies that eat baboons. Or what about elves and unicorns, or cranberries grown with pairs of thorns, or chocolate cheesecakes laced with thorns, these things do not exist. And don't forget objectivity, or non-oppressive authority, or equal opportunity, these things do not exist. I'm quite impressed at our little list, no, I think we missed a thing or two. So not to sound too over-rehearsed, but we'll sing more verses after this. What about life without soft spring, or a moment when nobody's dying, or a flower immune from withering? Oh, these things do not exist. Saddam Hussein's weapons of mass destruction, American nuclear arms reduction, women saved from the powers of seduction, these do not exist. Or restaurants in California where you legally can smoke, or pitless pizzas, or in celery, or heartless artichokes, or chia pests that look like Howard after Howard's turn, the Antarctic badminton league, and gasoline that does suffer. Well, lengthy treatises on existential thought by dinosaurs or belly button flavored jello Japanese conquistadors September 33rd or 58th or 91st or flying submarines or talking clouds or meatless liverwurst or oceanfront property in Zimbabwe orthodox Jews that speak God's nine Yahweh truffles or mushrooms with vertebrae these things do not exist or cellular phones from 1910 or monsters in closets or bogeymen or cigarettes without carcinogens these things do not exist as large as Mars cherry flavored cars 90 string guitars Immortal Armadillos, paint your pillows, billion kilos, cigarillos, real fox news, sans point of views, or fake tattoos held on with screws, or duct tape zoos, or argon shoes, or cheap canoes made from kazoos, or free shampoos from kangaroos. Twelve handed clocks, magic beam stocks, woodless wood blocks, NASA spacewalks on Earth, or sock puppets made without any actual socks. One line solid, safe like a snake, some beer flavored like sin, Minnesota, cats can goggle, smoke singing chants and tight little rents. And finally, not least of all, none of the exhaustive list of things that don't exist. Oh, I didn't know such fun existed. <laughs> <laughs>